Saturday, July 17th, 1943. I wait here at the top floor of the building. My contact, the hyperactive agent, has paid for the job in full. It is a snatch and grab mission with an assassination in between. Now, I sit and wait for Captain Gunther von Stauf of the Wehrmacht to arrive. He has the documents I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to check outside for where Gunther is. Hmm. He's going to be late for our meeting. Well, we'll just have to wait. Larry, what are you doing out here? You're late. Uh, I'm just playing with this dog. You're going to ruin the surprise on Gunther. Come in. Uh, I'm going to lead Gunther in. I will pretend he is in trouble. Good idea, Burkhalter. I'll see you inside. Uh, yes, I will see you inside too. Uh. It's Angelo Vogel, a corrupt general. He's signaling to someone outside my vision. Hmm. A letter. Let's check it out in case it's a mission update. Urgent. Do not kill Gunther. Officer Backwater, what are you doing outside? We're supposed to be inside for the meeting. Captain Von Stauff, you are late again. I have never been late before in my life. Your incompetence has been noted. You are late for our last general's meeting. You are late here again. Come on. I was busy doing paperwork. Important paperwork. Not some stupid meeting. It cannot be more important than a general's <laughs> meeting. They've gone inside the building. Officer Burkhalter is waiting outside for whatever reason. Anyways, urgent. Do not kill Gunther. He does not have the documents we are looking for. They are with General Angelo Vogel. If you are unable to retrieve the plans off of him by 1100 hours, an air raid is scheduled to go ahead instead. They should have told me about this damn air raid sooner. I have a clinical hygiene inspection to do later. I have loads of work to do. It can't be more important than this. I have no this. time for this. Um, two, three, four. Oh, surprise! surprise! What is this? Surprise! No, you can't do this! I don't have time for a stupid party! I have work to do! Happy birthday, Gunther! Why is Vogel here? Uh, he is our friend. Right? He told me to call you Gunther! I'm off! I've had enough! We will not be much longer! They're still inside the building and it's half ten. It's not likely they'll come out for some time. I better secure the room. Luckily, being Felix Free got the black market, brothers. I have the tools to get such a job done. Mauser told Bombs. It's our company motto. Better check back on the lodge. It'd be nice if Anton did something besides dealing the money. Uh, sit here for a moment. The inspection is at one o'clock. I don't want to be late. Ooh, I have a speech to make. Hello, everybody. What? Let me grab a half full of bills of your attention and congratulate our newly born Gunther on his 30th birthday. I wish him a couple of Thank things. you, thank you. Nobody want to see such a large group of surgeons, scholars, eating cake and chatting. I feel the need to encourage everyone to get back to work. Mm, yes, well, yes. to be frank, I'm very glad to be here today and to see him celebrate his birthday surrounded by friends and close people. Gunther has always been, and is, God. a good mixer, ready to listen to a problem and offer some advice. Not less understanding of his army or training merits, as he qualified to top marks, unlike me, and now I swim to the most renowned divisions here in Paderborn. <gasps> the Caterpillar is a slow moving creature that constantly works without rest and works and, and molds into something beautiful for the remainder of its life. Butterfly. The caterpillar's life cycle resembles the birth of the German anti and of Gatha. He becomes an everyday soldier on the front lines, working his way up to a highly regarded officer. Like mine, his belly room size <laughs> is each promotion too, from the size of a tennis ball to the size of a basketball. No offense. Yeah. 
God personifies these words <laughs> in everything he does. Like the cat food that morphs into the butterfly. Over the many few years we have spent together, Gantra will continually develop on the path of life before finally becoming a beautiful blossom fly at his retirement slurry. But most importantly, Gantra is an amazing person. And on his birthday, I'd like to wish him simple human happiness. I wish me your pleasant little truffles and drawers that give one strength to make achievements to reach one's goals. I got the best cherished dreams come true as we stand up and raise our glasses for his birthday in happiness and stay together, says Clavie, it's the life. Well done, Gatha. That was beautiful, Gatha. That was truly beautiful. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to be sick. Get the doctor. What's this? I need the doctor. I need the doctor. Roman, you should not be drinking. This is bad for your health. I, know. I think it's water down though. It's, it's not water, it's alcohol. It's not water. Yeah, yeah. I want you to at least meet your rock man. It's Angelo. He's got the documents. Since you've been so nice to me, and I think my stomach's feeling better. I think you deserve a top seat. Now, don't tell me. I have a lot of I would be shocked. Roman, I think we should stop drinking. No. This, is, this is not a bad payment, but I will take it anyway. I will accept a okay. check in the mail. The doctor's got them. Thank you, Herder. It's a bit of a pleasure. Um, good luck. I'm going back to the stone patient. Ugh, he's got inside. Damn it, the air is. Maybe I can get half the bounty just for Bobo's head. These are the real teal. I must keep these in case. I'll wait here for him. I'm off to the party. Oh God, what is that? Instant at Winter's birthday party. Yeah, it's no problem. Ha, my hat just fell on the floor. Now tell me, what is your problem? I was shot, Doctor. I was shot in the stomach by the British bombers. Well, it's not a bomb they landed inside you. I'm sure I can have it patched up in a moment. Good to know. Do you have your identification papers? Yes, right here. I'm not going to be silent. Oh, good. May I see them? Here they are. I hope everything is in order. Well, Bobby's not going to accomplish much, is it? No, I don't think so. Age 21, 5 foot 4, blue eyes, brown hair. Ah, it's got to be perfect. Here we are. Let's see here. Everything okay up there, Doctor? Yeah, that looks good. Subject number three, ready. All right, lie down, please. I'll be with you in a second. Lie down, please, lie down. Never mind that. We want to talk very quickly for God to amputate this thing. All right, wait. Amputate? Yeah, your leg. We've got to get that leg off. 
but I've been shot in the stomach. Well, if you don't get your leg off now, the chances of your leg ever getting off are very slim, okay? Let's get started, shall we? No, 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 I'll be fine. I think I'll be okay. Why must you all be so disagreeable? Tell me, does this wet rag smell like chloroform to you? Oh, it does. Test subject number three is ready for the operation. But first, we're going to get that leg off. We simply can't have you running around after the surgery, can we? No! I don't think so! That's not going to be wrong. Ah, good. You're finally awake. Here, have some chocolate. Now, I have some good news, some bad news, and some truly, truly awful news. Oh, here's the other shoe, by the way. Well, let's hear the bad news first. The bad news being that the operation was unsuccessful. Uh, I don't understand, Doctor. I feel fine besides a slight headache. Yeah, I will feel fine for a few seconds. That's... that's natural. But speaking of seconds, that brings me on to the truly, truly awful news. You have, um... 30 seconds to live! What? Doctor, what have you done? Don't worry, don't worry. Here's the really good news. I'm going to bring you back to life using this formula I've created. Now, your test subject number three, because the last two times a few months ago didn't go too well. Anyways, with my calculators, uh, with my calculations and the stuff on the table over there, I'm fairly certain that this time the operation will work. And what if I don't agree to this? Well, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Listen to me. Ah! You'll bring me back to life. Or I'm. Oh. Hmm. A few seconds off. Excellent. Now you lie right there while I go put the stuff back at the table. Then we're going to get started with the injection. Oh, don't worry. There won't be any pain because you're dead. <laughs> dead. But not for long. Hopefully. Let's do this. <gasps> I hate when they squeeze and stop breathing again. He's dead. Damn it. Third time unlucky. But there's no use trying over every mistake. We'll just keep on trying till we run out of patience. Next time, next time I shall be successful. Now try for test subject number three. His rebirth, it was only for a few minutes, if even. But because of that, I am fairly certain that within a few months you might have arrived oh. and have a sustained sort of life. One should be appropriate to use. That would be so exciting. Uh, but the cost will be too dear and everything and... <gasps> Test subject number three? Put that down! That's my medical license! You broke it! Now I have to get a new one, you idiot! You don't talk! This is not good looking good. This is a very, very shoddy doctor. Have patience, my patience. I'll be with you in just but one second. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd say don't come to this clinic. It's not patient and unhygienic. So you've been telling me. Yeah, yeah, it's very unhygienic clinic itself. Doctor, is my friend all right in there? Um, hello, patients are fine. Could everyone just close their eyes for a few minutes while I take this innocent bag of rubbish out to the dump? Thank you very much. Sincerest apologies. I hope you 
never forget me, God, sir. I had to go and dump someone. Dump someone? Oh, the patient wouldn't agree with the medicine I was prescribing him. So, I had to lose the patient. And I'm beginning to lose my patience, Doctor. Do you know how long I've been waiting here? I don't know. I had lunch about ten minutes ago. I've been waiting here over half an hour. Sit down, sit down. <sighs> the doctor will be ready in a minute. Now, you must tell me what your symptoms are. I have a terrible stomach ache, Doctor. Oh, a stomach ache. A terrible one. Sounds deadly serious. Do you think my appendix is burst? Oh, please. Very well, what would you suppose it is, Doctor? Damn it, I'm a doctor, not some kind of dentist. Which limb will I hack you? Oh! What was that? Must have been a spy or something. Yeah, spy? Hmm. I'm not too certain about that. Yeah, that was a spy. Now, let's get back to the operation, yeah? Before we proceed any further with this operation, I'd like to let you know that I'm Captain Gunther von Strauff, sent here by the state. We have received several complaints from soldiers regarding our unethical treatments of minor injuries. Later on, General Vogel will be here to decide whether you keep your medical license or not. Now, what was that about a limb hacking? Day of all days, of course, an inspection. Yeah, um, oh yeah, limb hacking. That's a colloquial term used by us doctors to describe the, um, my course of action we're going to take. Oh god, how does that seem as Captain Benzer? Do you even know how to extract an appendix? Um... Do you even know Shut how? up! Of course I know how to do a simple operation! <sighs> Allow me to gather some... <laughs> Anesthetic first! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! My heart! I think I have... What I think I'm suffering from some kind of heart attack! Oh! Good sir, help! Edward? Oh. Ah, good. You are finally awake. You choked on a skittle. Wanting that lobotomy now. No, I have seen enough here, Edward. I'll be back later with General Vogel. No, you don't! What the hell? Edward, get off me! Nine. Get off! Nine. off! Nine. Get off my legs! Leave go! Nine. Don't get leave! off me! I need my medical license! Uh -huh. Huh? Where are all the patients gone? I don't know. Perhaps they're outside. It is a lovely day after all. Well, I'm going to look outside. Edward, get off! Cry out loud. Ah, here's someone. Gunza, I don't think that that person is... Excuse me, sir. Are you in need of medical assistance? Uh, but I suppose you are. Edward, you have one last... <laughs> what the hell was that for, Edward? He was about to bite you. He was in need of medical assistance. He was trying to bite you. You have just killed an innocent soldier. If you want to make an omelette, you've got to break a few legs. Oh yeah? Well, if you want a decent medical system in your country, you're going to have to fire a few shoddy doctors. Nine guns, you can't. Yes, I can. I have the authority. I'm going inside and I'm going to write a report about your crime. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. You sold it, you kill it! Kill it, kill it! Kill it! There's no head to shoot, I'm trying! Back inside! <laughs> what was that? It has the same symptoms as the previous patient had. Well, what did the previous patient have? That! What exactly was that? A mild case of undeadness. Are you telling me your last patient came in undead? No, the treatment turned him undead. Sink, don't cough. And what did he come in with? What he came in with is not important.
What's important is finding the host of this disease. And saving my medical license as well. Be nice to see you try before you're put in prison. No, it's this way. The host must be somewhere around the 500 meter radius around the barracks. We must find it before it spreads this disease too far. With you. We don't intend to kill the minions, <coughs> the victims. We intend to immunize them by getting a sample from the host. You keep a lookout outside. I just need to find something. It's somewhere in this room. And then we'll move on. I know what to do. Find a host. I left him down here. He has one leg, so he shouldn't be sat. But I've got no syringe gun. You're an army captain in disguise, not a doctor. You don't need a syringe gun. Now, watch the doctor in his natural habitat and possibly award him his new medical license. How you got a license in the first place is beyond me. Shut up. Oh my god, so coming out of the wall. So horrifying. Come on, shoot. later. Who? I don't know someone! Ah, Ed, I think you've been bitten. Huh, I'll see that. Do you think you'll turn into one of those? Well, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> uh. Let's find that cure before I fully turn into one of... <coughs> Just like General uh. Hogan. One of those. Doc, what did you say the cure is like? He has one leg. Well, looks like the cure is right behind you. Ooh! Why is he attacking you? I think it's because technically I'm one of his kind now. But one can never be too certain. Again, fantastic. <laughs> Hold still, spring hold. This will only sting for a moment. Thank you. 
I have secure. <laughs> Edward, can you walk? Yeah, I could make it to the hospital. All right, move out. Let's go. There's a thing called running, Gunther. You might want to try it. Keep your smarmy cards to yourself. Oh, help! Hello! 